How come we cannot use the ratio test if L is equal to 1? Well, what do I mean? Check this out. The ratio test, which is good for when you see factorial for maybe n in the exponent, and what it says is that we will have to first check the limit as n goes to infinity, and we take the absolute value of the ratio of the next term and the current term. And suppose that we get an answer out of that, that's called out to be L, and we know that the series of a n, it will converge if L is less than 1, and it will diverge if we see that L is greater than 1. But when L is equal to 1, this right here is inconclusive. That means that we have to try another test. But why is that? Well, let's talk about it. Of course, inconclusive means that it can go either way. So the best thing for me to do is to give you guys examples. So I will give you guys this one right here. And this right here is going to be a very easy example. Let's say we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n, which is just the harmonic series. And of course, we know that diverges, right? But suppose we don't. And suppose that we are trying to use the ratio test for this. And uh, let's see what happens. So I will just say, try with the ratio test. And do not abbreviate ratio test with RT because there's also the root test. But anyway, to use the ratio test, what we do is this limit first, right? And this right here is our a n. And uh, let's see, we are going to check the limit as n goes to infinity. Put the absolute value. Well, a n plus 1 is just 1 over n plus 1. And then divided by a n, it's the same as multiplied by the reciprocal of a n. So we can just put this down as n over 1. OK, cool. And of course, multiply this out, you just have n over that. And in fact, if you take the limit of this, it's just this and that that we care. So in fact, this is equal to 1. And based on what this says, you see that the L is equal to 1, it's inconclusive. But we know this right here from the harmonic series, we know this right here diverges. So let me just put that down right here. And yeah. However, if you take a look, if we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared, this right here converges by the p series because p is equal to 2. However, if we use the ratio test, again, let's just try the ratio test. Well, here is our a n, and then we are going to check the limit as n goes to infinity and the absolute value, and then this right here is 1 over n, but we have to do a n plus 1, so we do n plus 1 here, and then we square that, and we multiply by the reciprocal of a n, which is n squared over 1. And depends on how you want to do it, you can multiply this out real quick, which we get n squared plus 2n plus 1. And because n goes to infinity, again, you can just do this way, like the pre-calculus way to, to take the limit. And again, you end up with 1. So as you can see, when you get 1 from the ratio test, it can go either direction. The earlier one, it diverges. This one, it converges. So this will be an idea or an example that why when you get L is equal to 1, you just cannot say anything. You will just have to use another test. Of course, don't do the ratio test for the P series. Don't do that. I don't know why, but it's just for demonstrate pur <laughs> it's just for demonstration purpose to show that ratio test it has its limitation. That's all.